Hey y'all, it's me. Okay, so let's talk about the election that's going on here in London right now. Um, I'm kind of ashamed to say I'm from London, to be honest. We got people in this city throwing rocks at a prime minister because they're angry about a mask mandate that's going to make your lives safer. Yeah, we're all sick of the pandemic, but be grateful for how our government's dealt with it. Could be worse. We could be in the States, right? Right. I mean, little common sense don't hurt nobody. Now, the election, why do we have to have a liberal or conservative government? Why can't we have an NDP government? I am sick and tired of making phone calls and sending letters to Trudeau and being ignored. You people want to help people? There's a lot of poor people, a lot of people in my community, there's a lot of people in London that just don't bloody vote. And why is that? Because you people don't care about the poor people, people struggling, dis people on disability, disabled people, people whose children are being taken by Children's Aid because they don't follow the legal laws and their own mandates and rules, alone what a judge tells them to. And yet we're supposed to trust the liberal government's going to keep this going? I mean, come on now. Give your head a frickin' shake. Do you people not believe in what's right? Like, why do we need to continue to suffer? Why? What's the point? What's the point? Really? You owe the people. Politics is constantly grabbing a hold of shit and politicizing things that shouldn't be politicized. Canada's not getting any better than the U.S. on that front. We desperately need to have voices heard. Straight up. We need to have our voices heard. We deserve to have our voices heard. London is one of the worst drug addict cities in the country, let alone Ontario. The amount of intravenous drug users here is off the charts. The amount of rape going on through the university, etc. Again, off the charts. And what? Police in Middlesex County? Towns like Strathroy, places like London. They don't like to deal with charges like this because it's not just a he said, she said thing. And it's, if you don't do their job and give them the evidence and have straight up thousand percent proof, you're screwed. They aren't going to press charges. They're not going to do what's right for you. And reaching out to the OIPRD is no guarantee of getting anything done either, which is pretty much your only real option. The ombudsman doesn't help with children's aid. The MPPs don't get involved with children's aid. The MRC, um, Vanier, Craigwood, Lifespin, there are all these community resource organizations that are out there to support people. And yet, the second it's, you want them to help you with supporting you against children's aid, your community resources dry up and they go bye-bye. They disappear. So what are you supposed to do? When parenting classes are now being held virtually after 8 p.m., that's a problem. When you ask for a parenting class and can't get it because you don't need it, you don't qualify for parenting classes, you've taken all the classes and you genuinely don't need them, and yet you're asking for them, and still nothing happens. Your legal aid can be taken away because thanks to the pandemic, your trial's been drug out for longer than it's supposed to, so... Too bad. The Canadian government needs help. Mr. Trudeau, Mr. O'Toole, you're both a couple of tools. If you cared about Canadian people, you would do something for the poor by now and give us rights. We deserve better. We're people. Living off of $11,000 a year in Canada, how are you supposed to survive on that? I mean, really. 
and that's including your rent payments. How are you supposed to survive on $11,000 a year? Because that's what it's expected to me. Can anybody else out there survive on that? Didn't think so.